and let me jump. Okay, so the order is in which order they are going to start, guys. Uh, first master, of course, master is very important. Why? Because master knows other system database settings and all. If master doesn't comes to online, other system database don't come to online. So definitely your SQL server won't start. So master stores other system databases information so if other system database has to come to on come to online means master first has to come online okay that is master let's go with a another system database called resource i said master and resource both are wife and husband or lovers so they both okay they will start together or after master your resource database will start this is the second okay that's okay if you ignore it no problem so master will start first resource will start next next uh, most of you said tempdb will start most of you most of you said tempdb will start now tell me guys tempdb is a temporary database how can it start without starting model database how it knows what values it has to take which location it has to create the files how it knows right I just shown you the demo also while creating tempdb it will whenever you restart the sql server it will create a fresh tempdb if it has to create a fresh tempdb means on what basis it will create on the basis of model so if model doesn't comes to online how can you create a tempdb right so after master resource your model database will start then based on the model database your tempdb will start then your optional database msdb will start then your user databases okay flipkart gpay whatever databases are there they are going to start this is the order of starting the databases system databases guys now is it clear so that's what i said okay please use your common sense very simple we discussed about the tempdb so tempdb can't create it without model so model has to start first based on the model only tempdb can be created okay guys is it clear any doubts here please let me know right chalo fine so now tell me now tell me master id is 1 then tempdb is 2 msdb is 4 and model is 3 then what about resource database what do you think what about resource database id you can only see up to six after after four your user database ids will start you can see here sales five flipkart six okay so now tell me in these two database which database i just created first guys in these two databases sales sales common sense okay first if you create means if you compare these two values which is less value so five is the less value so five six seven like that it will keep giving numbers from five six seven like that for the newly created databases okay so now tell me what about your uh, resource database what is the id of the resource database what is the id guess it guess it guess guys guess so let's let's check one oh okay so master and model a uh, master and resource both will have same id how it is possible guys sudendra raju reddy and pradeep how it is possible for us two separate databases having only one id is it possible first of all duplication is possible okay so some of you are saying it's a 32767 okay so the answer is 32767 guys okay 32076 the last database is your resource database okay last database is your resource database what is the proof go for select so and search the salt file so why sir um it, microsoft designed like that okay so why they make they they plan like that uh, what is the need we, I don't know. 
as per their architecture they gave a number like that the last database okay for research so it means that uh, it has a least priority i don't know that doesn't mean like that okay it was hidden means you can say that is least priority or highest priority right if it's a least priority even you can see least priority database msdb in the ssms but why don't you see resource database okay so don't think in that way okay 32767 last database in there logically they might think in a separate way that's why they gave that number okay so go to your uh, select star from start sysalt files okay there in this query if you go down you can see ms sql system resource okay where is that yes this is the one so expand this column double click on it you can see the files full files this is your flipkart right resource where is this? master temp model mm, yeah you can see here yeah you can see here the last okay if you see the db id db id column there you can see 32767 okay and you don't see any names here guys you can identify the names see for sales you can see sales data file sales log file flipkart you can see flipkart data file flipkart log. for other databases also you can see the database names but for uh, resource you don't see name okay simply to showing data and log okay and you can see the last if you expand the last column you can see ms sql system resource dot mdf ms sql system resource dot ldf that is your resource database and you can see the id as 32767 okay this is how you can identify the resource database id guys okay so yes any questions the typing mistake okay no problem there is not an issue okay so that's it guys and in the next class tomorrow we are going guys the classes will be monday to friday morning 7 am to 9 am ist this is fixed as of now this is fixed and this will be fixed might be saturday will be included okay in the in the coming classes or uh, in one or two weeks the, the course is going to complete last two or three weeks i'll i'll include saturday sometimes might be last week i can include sunday okay if that is the last class why to wait till monday so in such cases i might include sunday also but the classes are fixed timings are fixed monday to friday morning 7 am to 9 am ist okay as of now so that's it guys tomorrow and whatever we discussed everything is mentioned in this document guys okay about master database about model database okay whatever we discussed all the things will be discussed and the mentioned in the document so if you want you can you can just go through these values guys so very important sometimes they might ask you how to tell one or two points or at least two points about the system databases each system database what is the use of the master model msdb temp db resource db so they might ask you this question uh, this is an important interview question we have videos on how to fix corrupted system databases uh, sudindra in my old um, in my videos yes in my youtube channel it was there uh, you have to go and search in my youtube channel it was there okay so go and check search in the youtube channel uh, you can see if it was corrupted um, okay at this stage you might understood but um, people those who started they can't understood okay so that's why you can go and check it so this is the importance of the system database guys tomorrow and you can see the database ids okay and uh, how in which in what order they are going to start okay so everything is mentioned in, in the um, document that i have provided okay so next is uh files we discussed about this files next class is about the uh this one guys uh, patching sql server patching so what is meant by patching what is the uses of uh, patching so how to do the patching so and all everything will be discussed guys so we'll discuss in the next class tomorrow's class we are going to discuss how to do the patching so and all okay sql server patching very important class tomorrow we'll discuss about the patching tomorrow itself i'll show you how to patch a sql server what precautions you have to take while patching the sql server okay so what is meant by downtime and all how to take the downtime everything we'll discuss tomorrow's class first process we'll discuss then we are going to patching is very simple next 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 patch there is nothing you can also do that okay uh, i'll show you it's it's very simple but the process is complicated process okay when you patch uh, your sql server is going to be restarted multiple times so you have to take the approvals as it is going to be restarted so you have to take the approvals right so for that you have to follow the process that process will discuss tomorrow prerequisites do's don'ts for patching then we'll go for patching demo okay guys 
done tomorrow we'll connect at 7 am thank you all thank you sir thank you